was this lady in my block that was a MILF. Mm -hmm. Before the MILF, this is 1979. Nobody knew what a MILF show was. She had big tits and she'd always wear, uh, uh, what, what do you call those things? In the 70s, the, the women wore, No, no, no. The, oh, fishnet? The, no, no, they wore, uh, you just pulled it over your chest. A corset? No. <laughs> I don't know. You pulled it over your chest in the 70s. And you could just pull it down and show your tits out. And just oh, covered yeah, oh yeah. a tube top. Tube top. Tube whatever top. The fuck. Oh, the tube top. Whatever the fuck Yeah, because when you called. had big tits. Yeah, you would just tuck just, them in the shirt. You just pull the tube top down, <coughs> so and then you could suck those titties. She had two dogs that had that were blind, two French poodles that were blind. <laughs> <laughs> she'd have to cross them across the street, and they'd shit in the park when we'd be playing basketball. And she'd have little hot pants. How old was she? flip-flop. If I was 14, 15, she was 39. Wow. 40. And every time she was over there walking the dog, I let the ball go down the hill just so I could walk by her and look at that ass. She was mint. Mm -hmm. Titties, everything was mint. So I, and, but her husband, she, this is how hot she was. Her, whenever she walked the dog, the husband would go on the balcony to watch to make sure none of us attacked her. Because <laughs> he knew we were a bunch of banditos. We would have picked her up. He knew, right? What's that movie that fucking uh, outlawed Josie Wales when they find the blonde? Behind the fucking thing, and they pull it by her legs. That's us when we were thirteen. Oh, like that? We were looking to fuck somebody. We just didn't know who to fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ran with a crew that was looking to fuck. We were just looking for the right one. Like woman. straw dogs. But nobody. Knew Remember that, that movie? Oh Jesus! Nobody. All those fucking guys hanging out on the roof. Hey, Holy shit! That's the movie with the rape scene, right? Like it. it's a rape scene. It's a rape scene, but it also turns into like a fucking weird, twisted love scene. Then the other guy comes in for a chewski. The other guy. But there was all these guys hanging out. You remember Dustin? They oh, sent no, no. them. We were savages. Oh, my God. We were ready to go, but nobody knew I was in love with Faye. With I, Faye? That was her name, Faye. And I was going to oh. take her down. And she had two daughters. <laughs> One daughter I was friends with. The other daughter dated and ended up marrying my Goomba. Really? A tight friend of mine. So after we we listened to Led Zeppelin too, we ate a bunch. We did some Angel Dust. And we drank some beers, and everybody's like, oh, we're going to a party. How did she dress? Was she... Always hot pants. Always she hot? Always showed that short, short shorts? Always short, short shorts. Always. It could be fucking 10 below, and she'd have a fucking hot pants. So she knew what she was doing. Oh, yeah. She right? Knew she, and her nipples would always be hard in the winter. Oh, my God. Her face was gorgeous. So one night I said, tonight's the night I'm taking that bitch down. It's been about two years. At night, when she would walk the dog at 11, the husband was older than her. Like her husband was like sixty. I'm oh, glad she was oh. in for the program. Yeah. Oh, she was there for she the for the ride. Yeah, she was. That wasn't the girl's father. <laughs> no. So I I went. I got some of my mother's flowers and I went and hid by the bushes and waited for to come down with the two French poodles. And when she would put the when she was going to bend over to to put the French poodles down, I was just going to tackle her and then give her the flowers. Who tackles you and gives you flowers? I'm a class act. <laughs> <laughs> Did you give her the flowers? I walked up behind her. As I saw her, I was going to grab her. She turned around. She goes, Coco, what a surprise. I go, I brought these for you. I had my best cologne on. I brushed my teeth. Listerine, everything. I was ready to eat her from the inside out. And I had never even had sex with a woman before. And she's like, what are these for? And I told her how I felt. I love you. I want to run away with you. Told her that? Oh, everything. I told her everything I needed to tell her. I had tears in my eyes. I got emotional. And she goes, that's so sweet. And I go, can I kiss you? And she told me that if she ever gets divorced, that she'd consider me. Like, <laughs> like she just told me, because I'm such a jerk off. You know what I'm saying? You're 15, 14. I was, I was a young kid. And then I go, can I kiss you? And she goes, absolutely. And I kissed her on the cheek. And then I looked down, and I just started staring at her pussy. And she goes, what's the problem? And I just started getting red. You know, when you're 14, you get yeah. warmed up, you get yeah. red and redder. And she goes, what's the matter? And I go, I just want to touch your thigh. <laughs> okay, and I touched like the bottom of a thigh, mm -hmm. and I could just feel blood coming out of my dick. Everything I had came out of me. I had to run home like Steven Seagal. Remember how Steven used yeah. to run all limped up like he was a half a retard in the book mm -hmm. of law? That's how I <laughs> fucking ran home, all fucked up. Oh my I God. I never said nothing to nobody. And then about four years ago, me and my Goomba Bobby went out for breakfast, and I go, I would tell you the time I was going to fucking rape Faye. And he goes, why, why am I hearing about this now? Right. Well, it was 1979. I was a young kid. I was in love with Faye. He goes, you know, Faye lives with me now. Because, really? Yeah, he's married to the daughter. Oh, my God. So Faye, and I go, how's she look? And he goes, she's still on fire. She's 78 years old. And you know what? She walks around the house all day telling me how horny she is.
Really? He goes, maybe. And I, I'm like, what are you fucking? That's At 70 we, something? We giggled. We giggled, and that was it. And about two weeks later, I got a call one afternoon. It's Bobby. And I answer the phone. I go, what's up, Bobby? He goes, hold on, son. He wants to talk to you. And he put Faye on the phone. She's like, how you doing, sweetheart? Why don't you come visit me? I'm like, ah. Oh, my God. That's incredible. Fucking-